this came from a little town that you probably heard me mention many times called Smiatic. It's almost unpronounceable and you can't spell it, I dare anybody to say. <laughs> But John's brother knew it when I spoke to him on the telephone. I spoke to him because I still own property there, but he tells me I'll never get it back. Really? Is that Lithuania or is that Arthur? No. Here, Mommy. Gave up so easy, Mom. Take it soft. No, no. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. She, a little, little more my smiatic can make it cake. It's upset because it's terrible. The town is 10,000. It's a rural area. It's primarily agricultural. Uh, my mother had told me the story that. Uh, she was working as a barmaid. Her father uh, was a so-called rabbi, but really wasn't a rabbi. He was a, a ritual slaughterer, a shofet, as mm -hmm. the word is used. But on the side, he bottled seltzer water and sold vodka on the bar. <laughs> My mother was the oldest daughter, and she tended the bar. She remembers looking out the window of the bar some man riding the horse down Main Street. And this was when she was 17, and this handsome man was my father. Wow. And a white horse? My father was an overseer of a farm. Now, in Poland, Jews could own property, but there was a bit of fakery. A Gentile was asked to sign a paper that he was owner of the land, but that was only the paper on the ship while well, the Jewish people ran the farm. And my father was the overseer, and he came prancing into town on this horse, and my mother's own fell in love, and they got married. And Helen has the engagement certificate, which is a, a, a beautiful bit of, of classic foil, colored foil that was done by a different artist. And, uh, my father came to America in 1912. Uh, and Didi asked me the question, why did he come to America? He had a successful farm. My mother had a successful business. I don't know. My father was very taciturn. Uh, he had many good qualities. He had uh, one bad quality of paranoia, which I haven't heard in so much of that. Uh, but which one? <laughs> <laughs> so you guess, uh, but he, he also did not like to talk too much about what happened. My mother was very articulate about what she wanted to let me know. Now, he came at 1912 and he worked for a relative of his who owned a vegetable store. And my father worked he lived and slept in the back of the store where the potatoes were. He described sleeping on top of his potato sacks. And he worked for $2 an hour. And he said, why should I work for this guy? I can go out and pedal myself. So he got a push cart. And I don't, none of you people remember, but push carts were standard in New York on the Lower East Side and in Newark also. Is that like a, a wheelbarrow? And they sold okay. Push cart is like a wheel. It's got one wheel on the front and two handles. Yeah. Yeah. Push cart. He wheels down and yells, "Potatoes! Potatoes!" Or the hard. He was able to develop enough of a business, make enough money that he bought a little vegetable store in Newark. <laughs> Uh, Dee took us on a tour of North of all these places I'm going to talk about. We couldn't, re I couldn't remember the exact address of this particular store, but there was a little tiny store on the street called South Orange Avenue in North, which was one of the main streets. At that time, it was all Catholic, all Gentile. 
how the church was around the corner, the nuns and the priests were walking down the street, and my mother used to make foul faces at them because her experience with priests and nuns in Poland was very, very negative, and she made no hesitation about telling us. So this vegetable story uh, was quite successful. I, I still remember there, I don't know what clarity you have, but I can remember when I was only one year old, being bathed by my mother on a platform and being tickled by her. This is as clear as what? I'm talking to her now. Are you going to remember when you're one? One year old. This is a oh, clear. Yeah. It can. So sorry. And, <laughs> oh. Uh, this is <laughs> my family consisted of three. My brother was born in 19... 12 when my father left to go to Europe. None of you know my brother because he died at the age of 33. Uh, but he was four years old when my mother came to America in 1916. Traveling on a boat with a U-boat in the water was very, very dangerous, but they, they made it. They got to Ellis Island, they came through. And in 1918, my sister, Molly, who I think all of you remember, was born. Well, do you remember? Uh, in 1923, I was born. Now, the sequence is pretty important, but my brother, being the oldest, uh, was designated as my primary babysitter. And he was very unhappy. He came here. He was very happy living in Poland. My mother had a wonderful business in Poland. She tended the bar. She was very attractive. There's a picture of her here with uh, her family and my brother. And she developed a grain business. When farmers needed grain to feed their cattle. And uh, she was very attractive, but she was flirtatious. And uh, she was. You see the, the one in the middle, and you see the white clothed little boy. Mm -hmm. That's my brother. Oh. Pass it around. And, uh, she had a very fine business and did not want to come to America because she was very happy. She was a single mother, but enjoyed it. She enjoyed my brother. But my father sent her an ultimatum: come, or I divorce you. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he, was a, <laughs> wow. he wasn't a come. Well, that, that settled the problem because she didn't want to get divorced until she came over. Now, my brother was my original caretaker, but he did not like me. <laughs> I was getting in the way because uh, he had his mother all to herself, and this father, who did not like him, my father, had the classic Oedipus conflict. My brother was in the way. His wife came home. And he wanted his wife, and there's this little boy in the way to, between them. And uh, anybody who knows the Oedipus conflict knows what happens. Um, he became antagonistic to the little boy, and the little boy became very antagonistic to me. Uh, he was supposed to babysit me, and I still remember another episode. I was in the carriage, being pushed by my brother, who disliked me, and I. Being very active and nimble, I climbed over the carriage and fell onto the concrete. And I still have the dent in my forehead. <laughs> the right side of my forehead is flat, the left side is round. Yeah. <laughs> you have to see it. Yeah. Now that you lost your <laughs> So I was lucky that was just a bony deformity because it could have been more important. Well, that was the last time my parents let him be my babysitter. <laughs> my sister, who was five years old, became my babysitter. And five? She, she was five years old. Oh, yeah. Mom? She Molly. was only a, 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 little, a little bit more attentive, because I remember another episode. She wheeled me to a local park and put me on the swing then just minded her own business, and I was on the swing, and I promptly fell off and cut my chin. Oh, <laughs> so that was another episode. I figured my siblings really didn't care too much for me. It was a, a, a difficult thing. But it ended up that uh, well, my brother 
never, never got close to me. Uh, you know how boys. Are. And the ritual was when I grew up a little longer. Every Saturday we would go to the local movie we had and moved from South Orange Avenue in New York. My father's business prospered and he realized that people who deliver vegetables to these stores make much more money than if you sell the vegetables. So he bought a truck and became what's called a commission merchant. He would go to the farmer's market. The train would come in various places in the country, California, from mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, from Lower Jersey, bringing in the fruits and produce into this enormous farmer's market. And people like my father would uh, bring trucks down, load them up, and deliver fruit and produce to all the vegetable stores. So in the in was the old days, we Street? didn't have fairways. We had maybe A and P was about the only store. Was that store. Market Street at the bottom Everybody of Market Street? Milton, Ann has a question. Was that at the bottom of Market Street? Is that Market Street in New York? Uh, no, it was near Ferry Street. Near Ferry Street? Oh, near Ferry Street. Yeah, this is the old Farmer's Market. And I remember vividly my <coughs> father <coughs> initially started to drive himself. He bought a truck and drive himself, but he couldn't drive for me. And uh, one day, uh, we had moved from South Orange Avenue when he sold his truck got the truck to a place on 16th Avenue uh, near uh, Valesburg Park. Is that familiar to anybody mm -hmm. in there? There was a little Jewish section there. <coughs> South Orange Avenue, we were, we were the only Jews. In the Valesburg section, there, some of my family were there, just a few Jews, mostly Gentiles. And I still remember the park. It's a lovely park. And they have tennis courts, and my cousin most had to learn how to play tennis there. And my aunt was selling chickens there. I didn't tell you other memories I had of living in South Orange Avenue. This was sort of a way station because uh, relatives from Europe were coming over almost every month. Another, my mother had seven siblings, and almost every other month somebody would come over. And I remember being taken from my bed and put in a bureau drawer to sleep while the, the new immigrant slept in my bed until he, after a few days, he got his bearings and got a place to go himself <laughs> and there I was taken from the bureau drawer. And also in this vegetable store, uh, my mother was a, a little stuffed. She was minding the store and I was one or two years old. And what did she do with me? My brother and sister were at school. I remember being placed in a potato bin. I don't know if you ever saw the old store. They had a, a wooden triangular potato bin. And she would put me in the bin like a uh, yeah. baby, <laughs> baby, like we have now these. Uh, Bassinet? Not bassinet. Playpens. Playpens. Oh. It was, it was my playpen. I couldn't climb out of this, so who would think? And I still remember playing with the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But then I moved to the club.